I think people often underestimate how wonderful Adelaide can be. The blending that this city has of its uh, heritage and the contemporaneness of it. Its scale, its humanity and its decency, its mobility, the ease with which it's possible to connect with other people. It's at a scale that is human and friendly and manageable and we have so many beautiful open spaces that we can enjoy. If you look at it, it's a grid, it's easy to get around. Um, I think it was designed really well in terms of um, accessibility to everything. I've never been in a city where I know where south, north, west and east are so clearly. I love the fact that I can walk everywhere. Uh, it's really good for your well-being to be able to just decompress at the end of the day walking home. For me, every single thing I've wanted to achieve family-wise and career-wise has been able to be done right here in Adelaide. Every week, a lot of growth, but in a very sustainable way. So we have got the new Adelaide yeah. Hospital, yeah. we've got with the new technologies. And as the population increases, it's just going to help the vibrancy of the city and, and the businesses that are, are there and, and attract more business. Adelaide's a really friendly place, and I can say this as an outsider. It's the people. We joke often about the people that you know. The sense of community uh, is fantastic. It feels almost communal. Like anything you want to try, I always feel like there's people around that, that want to help you up. We can see not only people coming for the festivals, not only people coming for those sporting events, but also these cultural events. Culture is second to none. We do our festivals really, really well, uh, which is why people come from all over the world. I live it, I breathe it, I, I love it every day. It's a healthy place to be, you can wander down to the parklands. We are a designed city and we can uh, learn a lot from uh, William Light and the principles and models that have informed the shaping of our city and our society for nearly 200 years. Design for life, I think it's um, thinking about how, how do you design a city that is, is going to be there for everyone. It means that when things are considered, they are considered for the whole person. Designing um, a city that meets all stages of life. At the end of the day, we live in the same city and how that can accommodate to everyone's needs. Keeping people at the heart of it and the things that will make their lives easier and more enjoyable is what Design for Life should be.